all cities awake. Music. <laughs> what the shit? Dude, everyone's just popping off. <laughs> hey, welcome back to uh Corona season Oz vlogs and today I'm doing laundry. This massive ass bag. Yeah, let's let's go. Man, I don't know how long it's been since the last update vlog corona season thing. The weeks have just been evaporating. Oh man. My laundry is so heavy. Uh, okay. Alright, this is gonna work. Alright, it's very awkward. How the fuck are there so many people around? Alright, I made it. Alright, no one's in here, so I can talk like a fucking idiot, and no one's gonna judge me. Oh, Alright, cool. Yeah, what's up? Alright, laundry time. Laundry is fucking, okay. It's very si Laundry's cool. Okay, what? Dude, there was so many people outside. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just vlog casually on the way there. No one's gonna be, you know, in the park while I'm going to laundry and, you know, get into the park and there's just so many people. There's kids playing soccer, people playing basketball, people doing fitness stuff, like, like people actually have wives. Um, since when? People just on the street, like, smoking ciggies, like, what, what? If I miss something, is the are we, are we out? Can I shave my beard? Are we done? Are we done with this virus shit? Anyway, something oddly satisfying about, um, a laundromat. I don't know if you guys feel that, but yeah, just, I don't know, it's a vibe. Looking vibing at the laundromat. Um, yeah, I literally don't know how long it's been since my last vlog. Um, time has just melted into each other. Um, getting a little bit more organized now, actually. Like, I'm planning stuff. Um, getting excited about things. Um, spell break tournament, podcast, D&D. &D, um prop hunt with Fortress players, uh, I've got a Civ Sesh Bruin with uh, Greg and Cam, um, yeah, just finally starting to come out of, like, just being depressed all the time and being stuck inside, it's so, like, okay, <laughs> cool, um, yeah, oh, I just did a uh, podcast with Tambo today as well, so that was cool, um, yeah, so I knew that I would find myself uh, in all of this mess. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Excited to be on a content roller coaster, and whatever happens, happens. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, like, okay, just cool. Like, you don't like good content. That's 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 fine. You don't have good taste. Like, <sighs> that's on you. Um, yeah. Anyway, got some clips and stuff coming up. Um, and yeah, we'll see where the rest of this vlog goes. 
Stay legendary, fam. Peace. What's up? Um, I'm back from the laundromat. Um, two weeks in the future. So, yeah, it took me a while to uh, get around doing this. Um, you might have noticed a change uh, in growth, but you might not have. I'm just pointing that out. So I finally um, did this to my room. Um, fuck. We got some lights here. Man, this is oh Alright. Did this. So I got some nice, like, stream lighting now, I guess you could say. Um, I got this nice color stuff going. Um, yeah, so I have a pretty sweet background. And then I've got lighting for my face. Wait, I should have to check that out. Alright, let's see how well lit I am. Ugh. Oh, yeah? That's actually decent. Alright, and so then the camera will be here and I'm like, hey, what's up? Welcome to another stream where I'm just being cool and shit. Um, I was gonna put up another, another photo of mine over here, but I don't have the right, um, I don't have the right, like, sticky stuff to put on, uh, photos. So, that's in the next, in the next one. Uh, keep, keep you updated. Um, yeah. Pretty much, um, I don't know, I was gonna just kind of like, try to speak from, uh, the heart, from the mind, see what happens. Um, I was like, really inspired to, uh, speak my mind, uh, last couple of weeks, but I guess, uh, today is different, um, and maybe I'll try to do that ongoing, um, but for now, uh, I got rehired at Fortress, and I think that I'm incredibly lucky, uh, 
to be given the chance to go back to work, um, especially for a venue like Fortress. Um, like it, it's kind of hard to, to tell people, you know, oh, I'm, uh, just keep pushing, just, just don't give up and, you know, all this kind of like sappy shit. Um, cause it is really up to the individual, like their experience. But that's the thing is I, I had no control over what happened to me. Um, and I had no control over going back to work. Um, I was severely heartbroken. Like the, the effort that I put in and like, I guess the backstory to me starting work at Fortress, it's like, like how far I had actually come to get to that point in my life. It, like, it was so rewarding. And then for it to just be kind of like, just stripped away like that, it was, um, yeah, heartbreaking, um, devastating. Um, but that's the thing is I'm sure a lot of other people out there probably feeling similar sentiments, sim similar things in that, you know, you're being forced into isolation and, you know, all these things that are available to us, all these opportunities, like even, even if you're like usually used to being isolated, you know, the fact that there's like, at least it's like one day you can, you get an idea or there is an opportunity and like, you know, I'm going to go to that interview or I'm going to, um, I'm going to go exercise uh, at the gym. I'm, I'm going to, you know, have a goal, have a focus, you know, something to work towards. And then for it to just kind of be like, no, <laughs> you, you don't get that anymore. Um, it's, it's definitely kind of uh, a challenge and a new way of thinking. Um, you know, being able to adapt. Um, I definitely think that I've been in similar situations in life. Um, and this one's maybe it's similar, uh, in that, you know, the emotions that I felt, the, the kind of, you know, depression, the darkness, the loneliness, like all that, all those kind of like emotions, like running around, it just, I guess it feels, I, I, I've known that kind of existence before and it, I guess it's weird because I'm not I'm not feeling sorry for myself or it, it's not something that I've like I can resent myself for because it's not my fault and I didn't want to be here like I've finally matured to that point where I want to get a job I, I want to be productive you know I want to move away from this dream of being a pro gamer and all that stuff and you know the change in my life that I'd felt you know ramping up you know working at Hilton and then starting work at Fortress it was, it was such a like it was tangible like those changes were tangible in my life and then um yeah the last two months have just been like yeah, it's, it's not great, you know, it's, it's, but everyone's going through it, so I guess, yeah, just have to be there for each other, um, and it's, it's so easy to say, you know, don't give up hope and just keep pushing, like, the only thing that I've been telling myself is just keep going, just keep going, all those good things that have been there, for you and then now you can't like they'll be there they'll still be there but you just don't know when so the only way is to be productive no it's to be proactive I, I think the best thing is to be proactive and it's very easy for me to say that because I haven't been very proactive I did one day of being proactive um, I got some coffee beans to take to work tomorrow and make coffees for myself and almond milk, barista almond milk. So I'm going to get better at making coffees. I have the luxury to be able to do that. That's, you know, um, but just by the fact that I did some shopping today, um, I got some beard oil 
first time like this is the only chance that I'm ever gonna get to properly grow a beard so I'm like fuck it you know let's let's commit to this shit um you know maybe maybe when work goes back they'll be like huh your beard's good enough for you to be able to keep it because it's professional like it's professional looking whereas when I used to grow like when I grow more than like stubble it's just like no shave it like your beard's too long um yeah, just, just by that alone, um, like, that's, that's a motivating force, um, you know, then, then what's next, cleaning up my room, like, doing stuff like this, um, you know, adding lights so that when I do end up cleaning my, like, cleaning my room and doing streaming and stuff like that, it's, it's, it'll be nicer, um, did I just zoom in, yeah. Yeah, it'll, it, it'll just be nicer, it's just those things, it's like the, you know, the brick by brick, you know, putting it on top of each other, like, uh, it does feel like some kind of a reset button, um, yeah, and I have to relearn all of these things in a different way, you know, I can, I can still eat health, healthily, I can still exercise, um, I can still go to sleep at a normal time, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Um, yeah, it, it's all there, but it's, it's just, it's not like what you know. And it's just about figuring out a different way, and it's, I guess, everyone's going to take their own time, um, getting to that point. I think the best way is to not pressure yourself, and that's kind of what I've been telling myself. I could go running tomorrow before work, but I, I don't think I will. I think I'm going to make a nice coffee and a nice breakfast, and start my day, and then, you know, maybe the next day, I'll see if I can go for a run, like, yeah, just go at your own pace, do what's comfortable, but also try to push yourself outside of that comfort zone, because I know for myself is that I fell straight back into my own comfort zone, video gaming every single day, late nights, plus, like, drinking, I don't drink much alcohol, and I just buy a six-pack randomly, um, you know, finish a whole bottle of wine, <laughs> not go to sleep until 7am, because <laughs> you didn't know it was light outside or what the time, but, yeah, you know, it's, it's like, everyone's going through shit, but you can, you can be bigger than that, and it's, it's awareness, it's, you know, looking at your emotions and, you know, what could be causing, you know, sadness or the lack of productivity and, um, motivation, you know, like, the three easiest things for me is, you know, what I'm eating, you know, the kinds of food, so it's like, am I eating fast food, junk food every day? Am I eating, like, one meal? Like, how much have I slept? When am I going to sleep? Am I exercising? Am I getting sun, vitamin D? Like, all these all these outside factors that are going to probably ruin my mood and, um, you know, motivation and, and ambition and, you know, that just puts me into this kind of complacency zone. Um, yeah, it's trying to catch that and then say, all right, well, you know, it's it's time to move past this, it's, for me anyway, it's, um, it's, it's time to move past this f fucking sack of potatoes, um, way of being, and, you know, it's only been two months, like, I was so, so onto it, I was so on the ball, like, everything was just, everything was just, skyrocketing up and my like my mind and my ideas and my creativity it was just off off the charts you know it was just everything was just amazing and then yeah everything that I'd worked for for the last like nine months and it's just it's gone but it's still there it's just you can't do it so just don't give up I guess that's it's as simple as that you just don't give up on yourself like, this is, this is the kinds of, like, this experience is the kind of shit that shapes people. Like, this might be the worst thing that has ever happened to people. And it's like, like, you have to be faced with this. It's a direct challenge. It's forcing you to grow as a person. 
you know, people might not even be aware of these kinds of emotions that they have because they've just been on a certain track their whole life and it's just shaken everything up. And the main thing is that it's it's like, it, this is so strange because I, I felt like I've been in a position like this before, and but worse, you know. It, it's, it's not like I had an excuse for anything. It was just like that's what I was dealing with. Um, but right now, I, I just had this... I've just been having this, like, incredible feeling that I need to be strong. And it's like, I've got to stand up for myself and others and show everyone that it, this is going to be okay and that we are going to make it. And, I don't know, being a beam of light is... It just feels so natural to me. Especially because... I know how shit it is living in the darkness and feeling shit about yourself. It's, it's, it's okay, because you'll figure it out. You will. Just, just be calm. Like, just, just believe in yourself. I, I'm, I'm rambling about that shit, but you, you know what I'm getting at. It's, it's. It's fighting all of those negative emotions and being greater than your, you know, the sum of your fear and, and panic and all this stuff. You'll make it. I'll make it. Everyone's going to make it. No matter what your position, your standing, like wherever you are, like there's support out there. There's, there's love. Like I love you. Like I, I, I love you guys. I, I don't know who I'm talking. I'm saying I love you to a camera right now and that feels kind of odd um but yeah <laughs> um not crazy but yeah uh hopefully i make another vlog soon and i can keep chatting uh that was nice i feel like i'll end it there otherwise i'll keep chatting and um yeah i'll give you some cool updates as the days go on and it was like I think it's been like three weeks or a month since my last vlog so I'm not going to say anything about when the next one will be and that's kind of my style um, that's that's my brand <laughs> Oceanic Legends of the 64 vlog content uh, <laughs> but yeah I'm here for you and I believe in you guys and remember to stay legendary That was good. That was I reckon that was good. All right, see you next time, fam. Peace. Um